Hey guys, um, this is going to be another topic video. Um, I don't really know how to start this off, but like, I'm just going to wing it, but um, like I always do. Um, I'm single and I've noticed that when I look like this, my options are more. Um, I get approached more um, than I would with natural hair or with braids. Now, before you guys start in the comment section, oh, it's all about confidence. It's blah 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 blah. blah, blah. What I'm saying is, for the certain type of guy that I want, I feel I have to look a certain way. I notice women, my racial group, who have these types of men that I want, tend to look a certain way. And I don't know if I feel pressured to wear weaves or a pressure to be always glammed up. Um, the men that I tend to like tend to like women who look like Beauty by JJ, Liv, what is it, Liv, Liv, Liz, some, I can't remember her YouTube channel name, but her name is Liz. There's, but like Beauty by JJ is sort of like the image, you know, the thick, voluminous, Long weaves, thin, always dressed to the nines. Who else is there? Um, lip shock. Um, they all tend to, you know, fit that image. And I feel like I have to look like that. Um, that Kim, Kim Kardashian look is very in now, and it, feel, it feels weird to go from this to going back to my natural hair or braids, you know what I mean? It's like, you get so much attention for looking... Um, you know, your hair done, makeup done, all that. I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash, but I want people to, like, dig deeper than what I'm actually saying. For instance, let's say you're natural and you're out with your friend who may have, like, a weave. Do you feel like more men approach her because she fits that Kim Kardashian Barbie look. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I just get approached more or I, I seem more attractive like this. And then that's when the pressure kicks in like before, I didn't look good, but now I look good because my hair is different. And I feel like people go in on black women when it comes to hair a lot. Like, every style group has to has a standard. If you have relaxed hair, your hair better look like Olivia Pope. If you have natural hair, your hair better look like um, Shameless Maya. If you have... Dreadlocks, your dreadlocks better be neat, clean, always on point. And with weaves, your hair better look like Beauty by JJ because people will take a picture of you without knowing and like clown you on Instagram, Tumblr, and all these other social media platforms. But I just feel like there's just so much pressure to look. 
like a Barbie all the time. And there's just so much competition. And also, I live in Florida. And it's sort of like, you're not beautiful if you don't look like this. And if you don't look like this, it's because you're not trying to look attractive. Which is sort of a problem. Like, everyone thinks that beauty can be fixed. If you look busted, that's because you're not trying hard enough. That is, like, what I've noticed. And working in the beauty industry, it's like, the amount of money and time that goes into looking presentable is just a lot. And... I don't know. I just want to hear your opinion on it. Like, for so for those of you who are natural, who like sometimes wear weaves, do you feel like just like that overnight you're more accepted with the weave, or you get approached more with the weave? Like, and like if you're one of those women, like no matter what, I have confidence. Men want me. Then this is not the video for you. Please exit out. But like. Truth, like, I wish I had a truth serum. Like, be honest. Like, do you ever feel like, if I didn't have this weave in, would you have approached me? And when I think of the men that I want, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, you know, different races, ethnic backgrounds, um, Sort of like, have you guys seen the video, um, the girl who's never been on a fancy date or on a nice date? Sort of like that. Like, it's a funny video, but at the same time, it's true. There are women who've never been given the opportunity to be on those finer dates. Whether because of her economic background or for physical reasons, you know, like... If a guy has tickets to an amazing show and has reservations for an amazing restaurant, is he going to take you, the girl with the bantu knot out? Or is he going to take the girl who looks like Sade? You know? So it's just, especially when you go to these types of back um, locations, like the, the, economic background is like way like suburbs like you clearly have to have money to be in this location like I notice those women all tend to look put together looking the same and there is that pressure like if you want to be here you have to dress like the people here you have to look like them so if like when people make comments about dreadlocks um to be in a high position in it, um, like CEO or like, a, you know, an amazing position that makes six over six figures. You rarely see people with dreadlocks. You know, it's like there's a certain image, and I fit that image with the weave in. I don't know. This video is all over the place. But basically, I'm trying to date more, and I feel like this is the look that men like. You know, the matte red lip, the full face makeup, eyebrows that look like boomerangs. Of course, I don't have my eyebrows done, but like that Kim Kardashian look. Like, men really like it. And I do feel like I have to keep this look up. But once this weave comes out, like, you're, like, what happens now? I think that's, like, I don't know. I just really wanted to see the difference, the way I'm approached when I have my natural hair out and when I have this weave in. And I feel like... Just like that, I'm being approached. And I did the little experiment and I noticed that this wins. So I don't know. 
being single sucks. And, you know, you just want to date someone and see the finer things in life. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comment section.